So the art style for the movie Wish literally makes no sense. So I really respect all the work everyone puts into making Disney movies. So I just posted a video about the tech behind the making of the movie Wish. And while researching that video, I found this interview with Jennifer Lee, the president of Disney. She talked about the inspirations for the art style for Wish. And she said this. Artistry in our look, we've got a look like we've never seen before. Very inspired by the early watercolors, particularly of Sleeping Beauty. So she said the art style is based on Sleeping Beauty and the watercolor paintings. When I first heard this, I thought she misspoke. But if you look at more interviews, she says the same thing. She says it here. A huge inspiration for this film was Sleeping Beauty. We really wanted to celebrate that watercolor style. She says it here. She says it here. She says it here. The whole team's always talking about the watercolor paintings of Sleeping Beauty, but the whole thing is Sleeping Beauty did not have watercolor paintings, so I don't know what they're talking about. So the, the background art for Sleeping Beauty is famous for being so beautiful. The artist Ivan Earl was a master of his craft. He painted these really beautiful detailed backgrounds that are very stylistic. If you look at some of his work, you can see how awesome it is. He is so famous that there's even behind the scenes footage of him working on Sleeping Beauty. And in those videos, you can see how he's making these paintings. And if you look, I don't see any watercolor. But Disney has used watercolor before. I think the first and maybe only Disney movie to use watercolor backgrounds was Lilo and Stitch. And those backgrounds, you can tell, look like watercolor. So yeah, <laughs> this is just a quick video I wanted to make. Uh, I know that Wish has kind of been talked about forever in the animation community. Obviously, Wish didn't do that well at the box office. Maybe some of their creative decisions weren't the best, and this might be one of them. But I just wanted to have an excuse to talk about these awesome backgrounds from uh, Sleeping Beauty. I think these backgrounds are amazing because they're very contemporary, even though they were made like 60 years ago. When I see Sleeping Beauty backgrounds, I think of the backgrounds from something like Samurai Jack. If you compare the two, you can definitely see the influence. If you want to see more behind the scenes of animated projects, check out these videos right now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.